Hi guys, today we're making another plated recipe. It's Korean beef burritos with kimchi rice and a aioli that I can't pronounce. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother to try. Here's the instructions. You're going to need canola oil, water, salt and pepper, a small pot with a lid, a large pan, and a baking sheet. You're going to want to uh, preheat the oven to 425. Okay. In this dish, we've got some carrots, an onion, um, this spice that I don't know the name of and I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, we've got some dark brown sugar, some mayo, some baby spinach, some sesame oil, which unfortunately has started to leak, so I'm hoping that it's still got enough in there. Um, we've got kimchi, which is uh, uh, fermented cabbage, I think, right? Um, and then we've got some soy sauce. And we've got the flour tortillas over here. And some ground beef. Okay, so 425 um, for the oven. Um, we're going to put uh, rice one and a fourth cups of water and salt into the small pot and bring it to a boil. Uh, then we're going to reduce reduce heat uh, to medium low, cover the pot and simmer for 15 minutes. Um, then remove pot from heat and let stand still covered for 10 minutes. Then fluff rice with fork and keep warm until ready to serve. Meanwhile, I'm going to uh, rinse the spinach and pat it dry. Um, I'm going to peel the onion, thinly slice it. I'm going to stir together mayo and two teaspoons of, or one teaspoon for less heat, of the um, name I can't pronounce. <laughs> Alright, so then I'm going to saute the onion and brown beef, but I'll get to that in a second. So let me get all this started. The first step um, is to put canola oil in the pan and put in the onions in medium high heat and saute for three minutes. Okay, next I'm going to add in the ground beef. It says to pat it dry with the paper towel first, so I did. I'm just going to break it apart and let it brown. I'm going to add salt and pepper to it too. is going to, um, I'm going to push everything kind of to the, the uh, side and I'm going to add in the soy sauce. I'm adding in the sesame oil and lastly I'm adding in the sugar and I'm just going to cook this until the sugar dissolves. It should be about 30 seconds. Also add in a bit more of the um, thing spice name that I can't pronounce. Uh, if you want a bit more heat. Okay, next I'm gonna stir in the carrots and the spinach. And I'm gonna cook this about one to two more minutes. When this is done, I'm going to take it off the heat and add in some salt and pepper. And then uh, get ready to assemble my burrito. First step is to put down 
about a fourth of a cup of rice. In a horizontal line. Then we're going to put in um, scoop filling on top. Finally, you're going to add some kimchi if you want. If you don't, um, you're just going to put the rest in with the rice and mix it all together, and so it's uh, good that way. I'll put a little. I don't really want a whole lot. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. So then, basically, we're just going to roll this up. So. We're just going to put these in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes um, to warm them up. And you can put the kimchi in with the rest of the rice. And basically that's it. So I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, here it is. Um, at least here's it is before I tear into it. Uh, yeah, forgive me for not remembering how to uh, wrap a burrito. Sorry. <laughs> and here is a look at what it looks like inside. All right, I'll be back to let you know what I think of it. Hi guys, I'm here to talk about the food. Um, so the burrito was really excellent. I enjoyed everything. The flavors was really good. Um, it was just crispy enough and hot enough. Um, I really enjoyed the flavor of uh, the filling of the burrito. Um, the kimchi with it was really good. I know it's not for everyone, but I liked it. Um, there's nothing really bad I could say about it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the only thing that I can think of, right, is that, like, man, this this would have been so good with um, some bulgogi, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, I've had it before at a Korean barbecue place, and it was just so good. And I can imagine that putting that in a burrito would be excellent. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.